This is a brief demonstration of AutoCAD Civil 3D and Navisworks. First of all, we're going to have a look at a model created in Civil 3D in Navisworks. Here we can see we're orbiting around the model. We have a number of viewpoints saved, just like viewports in AutoCAD Civil 3D. Zoom into the model and just turn around. Here we have an area on the road with a tunnel and using the walk command we can actually drive through the scene. Using the look around orbit tools Take a look at the model in any which way you wish. Within the review tools, we can also look deeper at the model and enable the live sectioning tool. This enables to cut planes from various angles. and also at the view that we're actually looking at. The next part of the review process is to actually look at how the objects work with each other. Within this scene we can see a number of pipes and also a red electric cable. With the clash detection facilities we can actually search on properties such as a material and also by selecting the objects within the drawing we can also self-select any objects that we may want to specify. By setting a clearance value we can actually see whether this cable will actually interfere with this object. We get a number of clash areas and we can highlight an orbit around each one. And you see there's a small area of the red cable sticking through this surface which means that the cable needs to be lowered and again in this area. This part of the scheme we're now going to check for clash between the road and the bridge structure. Setting a clearance that we wish to be desirable. Within the results panel, you can actually see the actual clearances to every clash detection. Some of these may be something to ignore, as they're just part of the modeling process. So by changing the status, we can ignore those op options. So here's the area that we're interested, the road surface in against the bridge, and we see that it's not sufficient, so the whole road needs to be lowered. The final step, we're going to look at how we can create this scheme and sequence the time of events. Using a program such as Microsoft Project, Primavera or Aster, create a list of tasks that required on site. Within Civil 3D we can now look at some settings to try and automate the link process. So for example here we have a corridor surface, we've got a formation or datum layer created, but within the style we can actually create a layer that has a similar name to the task. So we're looking at the model view and create that layer name similar to the task.
We're now going to create the link from that Microsoft project file. So we use the timeline of functionality. And build all the tasks from that file. You now see that all the tasks from the project file are now listed. From those layer names that we set in Civil 3D, we can automatically assign some of the objects automatically. A good step to start with is to select all the tasks and give them an initial task type of construct. This will give some basic display properties. So this is the initial simulation where we just set a couple of properties on objects with the link. You see the formation surface is building here. Anything in light green is something that's in progress. So the next step is to actually bring in some of the other objects, such as the corridors and the bridges and tunnels. So by selecting the corridor, you can see it's listed in the selection tree exactly how it will be in Civil. Pick the task type and just attach the selection. And do this for all the objects that you wish. And here's that initial simulation. With all the objects selected and linked, here's the final construction sequence. By changing the view during the sequence, you can look at different areas and also record this to an AVI video. All this project information can be shared by creating a standalone NWD file to be used with the free Freedom Viewer available on our website.